Hi guys, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to my channel. And for this video, we are going to talk about the new update or the new rules for the Reservoir League or the Reservoir Raid. I'm not really sure if when are they going to take effect on the live server, but as you can see, if you're going to check your interface for the Reservoir League or Reservoir Raid, the new update or the new gameplay is already added there. Before we go to the new rules, so let's do a recap first on how Reservoir Raid or how you're going to play Reservoir League. But before I continue, if you find this video helpful, consider to like and subscribe. Thank you guys. So the first one are the buffs or the boost. So under your settlement buffs, under war, all of these are valid except for the Peace Flare. So you will have your Recon Jammer, which is very important so that if your enemy is going to scout you, they won't be able to see how many troops or what are your garrison heroes there. Also your HP attack, troop attack, as well as your march capacity, which is also very important. And then you can also use your governor buffs, or if you're a governor, the troop lethality, the troop attack, and other items that is war-related is also valid in Reservoir Raid. At the same time, those who are not aware if the skins, like for example, HK skin, frame skin, uh, stacks, they actually stacks, guys, as long as they are not of the same skin type. The HQ skins will give you the troop attack, while your frame skins will give you additional boost on your troop defense. And both of these skins have a maximum limit of 150%. Reservoir Raid is using old battle system, so it means that the resonating hero skills actually works in here. So that is the Wacko, Daryl, as well as Joker. I'm not 100% of Generation 3 heroes and below, guys, or their hero skills are also effective in Reservoir Raid because I haven't tested that again. All right, so let's go to the new rules in Reservoir Raid. So there are two additional rules or gameplay that they have added in Reservoir Raid. They already implemented the first one from the previous Reservoir Raid matches. And then in the second one, I'm not really sure if when are they going to release this in the live server because they haven't given any information about that. So the first new feature is the usage of the synergic attack tactics. So you can only unlock this skill, guys, if you are a Plasma 8 player. So once you unlock or re do the research for this Iron Beamer and at the same time the synergy attack tactics, this skill will last for 15 minutes and it do additional damage to the troops of your enemies. You can activate the said skills if you are in the interface of your reservoir raid to maximize your gameplay. So do not activate that while or before the match, but rather you can activate that while the match is ongoing. The newest feature that you're going to add in the reservoir raid is the water puddles or the water spillage. In my opinion, this new feature will consume a lot of speed ups and at the same time your bike ups if you are running out of your speed ups. I am pretty sure that this new feature is going to add additional gameplay between players, especially those matches with the equal strength when it comes to reservoir score. I'm not really sure if when this is going to take effect in the live server, but I am pretty sure, guys, that this will actually give you an option to restart or replan your strategy in Reservoir Raid. So the gameplay is the same as the old gameplay, except for the amount of water per building so same gameplay the more buildings you occupy the more water you can gather and at the same time the more strategic buildings or buff buildings that you occupy the more boost or buffs you can get the alliance is still going to get points or water points once you occupy the building and then the buildings will continually going to produce purified water but then there is a max capacity of water that each building can hold. 
once you reach the capacity of water it's still going to continue to produce water but then the excess will also be counted as points for the defender but you were going to lose this once you are going to fail to defend your building the longer the duration of your occupancy in the buildings, the more excess uh, water you can collect and at the same time, the more chances of spillage in that building if you fail to defend your own building. So make sure to reinforce or set the highest stats while you are defending your building to avoid spillage. Once you fail to defend your buildings, the excess water that you have collected from the building will be scattered around the area, guys. Remember that the locations are not fixed, so this will be randomly dropped, and at the same time, the amount of water per puddle there is also random. Once the water is scattered, all the players from both sides can collect all this scattered water. So this is where your strategy is going to get in. It depends if you are going to pour it right next to the puddles for faster collection or you can just use speed ups. There is only one rule for this guys. The first person to reach the puddles will be the person who will be able to get the water points so this is a matter of how many speed ups you can use how fast is your internet and at the same time how fast you can get to the water puddles unlike the rules in the water tanks that you can attack another player gathering water from the tanks in this one there is no battle guys like i said whoever gets to the puddle first will get the water and if you are late your march is just going to go back to your settlement i'm not able to attach an actual video of the reservoir raid from ptr it's because i failed to retrieve my file that got corrupted so i'm sorry about it guys but this is basically how it's going to work out in the live server i think this new event or this new feature will actually give a lot of alliances a time to plan out and at the same time think of other strategies and how you are going to play this event because the amount of spillage of water scattering around the area will be a tiebreaker if you are like going head to head with another alliance so that's it for today guys and i hope that this video is going to help you uh, familiarize and at the same time give you ideas on how reservoir raid is going to look like once its new feature is going to be added in the live server and at the same time this will give you uh some ideas on how you are going to strategize your bottles have a good day guys and see you in my next video bye